Hi, my name is Jonas and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. And uh, in this video I will show how we can do first a quick and dirty fix for the animation dip that we may have seen. Uh, you may have seen. Um, and if you know, don't know what I'm talking about, you will maybe have noticed that we have the animation starter pack and we have the third person uh, example. And if you want to, for example, go into an, an armed mode uh, by pressing the key, you will maybe notice that something like this happens. Um, and been wondering why this happens. Okay, so I have another video talking about the, the reason for this. And just to quickly uh, mention it, we have this, uh, we have the have an orientation on, on the roof. Um, so if we look at the orientation here, we can see the green, oops, the green, um, which is, uh, I forget, this is uh, the y-axis is pointing down uh, and this is on the third person character uh, animation and if uh, the animation, the other animation I'm using is um, equip, uh, no, it's uh, iron sights uh, something and uh, here we can see that the green, uh, this uh, y-axis is pointing forward okay, better, okay so that's a real problem. So when we make a, a blend between these two, they, uh, th this axis turns. Okay. So uh, the quick and dirty way to fix this, if you are not really, it's, it's just annoying, and, and, and you anyway plan to fix this later on, um, is to go into your um, animation blueprint, and you can see I have a, a state called armed which is basically just the, um, the iron sights copy um, this one so um, if you want to make a quick fix for this um, we have these transitions going up one saying if I'm armed then go to this pose and if I'm not armed anymore then go back so uh, if you click on the, uh, any of these two you will notice that there's a duration uh, and defaults always to 0 0.2 so if you zero this one out and also just zero this one out um, and click play and then now switch you will have an instant switch so now unreal engine doesn't have any time to um, uh, interpolate between these two uh, modes so it just switches back and forth unfortunately this also means that um, the, um, the animation or the translation between the arm position does not uh, show now so that's kind of a bummer so if you are satisfied with this, you can stop the vi uh, stop watching the video now. But if you're interested in how to fix this yourself, uh, either you can um, take well, you can uh, you can wa keep watching basically. So um, what uh, I just noticed that I have eight animations here, and uh, on the animation starter pack, I have tons of animations quite a few actually so what I want to do is to fix one of them to be uh, like the other one so um, I'm gonna take the, um, the animations from the third person character and just show how I will fix one of these eight animations and what you need to do afterwards is to fix the other ones yourself in a similar way <coughs> so first off I will export this one to my desktop and I will open up um, Maya. If you don't have Maya, then go get it first and then import it. Okay, then we have the skeleton here. And uh, let's see, we have uh, 78 frames. So let's start off by typing 78. So we only have these when we export it again in a moment. So this one is turned wrong. So what I, uh, I figured out like we could do about this is to click this one the pelvis and click shift P to unparent this one and then these nodes uh, these bones uh, which are lying down right now I don't really use them so unless you need them then you want to actually take this one and then uh, rotate uh, x-axis so uh, but for this example uh, you can do this uh, you know if you know what I'm doing uh, you can just delete this one so uh, instead I'm just gonna create uh, click on the, the joint tool up here and 
insert a, a new group, which I will give a little more, uh, bigger um, radius. Make sure it's zero and zero, and call it root. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna switch to this one and uh, the pointing tool and select my pelvis again, and shift click and click the root and click T. So now they are parented again. So if I uh, move the animation, something what you will notice is that he moves in space. So that is that's the reason for this. And um, this is what we will fix now. So um, the reason is that um, the pelvis is um, oriented um, in, an, in another way when they are unparented. It, so uh, now the X uh, or the Y and C axis are now switched. So I just basically need to switch them back again uh, and make them um, uh, so it, it returns to the original position. So let's go into the animation editor, uh, Windows animation editors and graph editor. And here I am, uh, am on the pelvis. And as I mentioned, that uh, Y and C has changed uh, position. So I I'm, I just want to basically um, take note. Uh, actually, I want to, since these are almost flat, both of them, I could just um, uh, parallel shift them up so they align uh, with the, each other's starting point. But I will show uh, how you can do this, I think, in a, in a more precise way, because that's what you will need. You need, need actually to switch these two. So I uh, mark all of them, and I press Control c to copy them, and I switch to the Translate C, and I paste them. Oops, sorry, bad, sorry. Uh, I make sure that I am at the end frame here before I do that. All right, my bad. So back again, uh, translate uh, Y, mark everything and copy that, switch to the translate C and paste it. So that puts it over here. So what you wanna do now is to zoom in and I just using the scroll mouse of my on my mouse yeah scroll button on my mouse and alt um, what do I do? Alt middle click to pan around so I can get closer in. And then I select as you can see here, that frame where I was for before, select all this, and then I um, Okay, first of all, I want to no note that this one starts at minus 10. So before I can shift uh, or control X to remove these, I note that this started at minus 10. So I switch to the translate Y and I um, paste this in. So now it's up here. Uh, and then I want to do the same up here. I want to remove um, the beginning. And just hit delete. So now we, uh, I got rid of the, those um, keyframes. So, oops, and I forgot actually to take note of where it starts. So zooming in and noting that it starts at about, don't have to be 100% precise, but it's about uh, 91. So minus 10 and 91 are the two values we need to remember. Okay, so delete them. Okay, so this one I wanna now, um, if you click uh, first this one, and then you can click this tool, region, tool, scale, move and keep move keys, and then middle click and then drag this over here. So it begins at the first frame. And actually let's move it down so that this one starts and go away at minus 10. I am new to um, Maya, I must say. I uh, work with it uh, in a little over a month. So I bet that's another way to actually do this, but uh, this is the way I found I could use. So, okay, so now we move the this one and we need to also move this one. 
So you could, of course, if you want, just click this one and you can move in both directions. So let's just do that. So a middle click and we want to drag this up to the beginning, um, to the first frame, like this. And we want it to start, let's just lock this one, uh, to 96 or about something a little bit more, I think it was. Okay, so that's actually all we need to do. So if we close this one up and we uh, check the animation, now we can see he is back in his place again. So we can export everything and let's call this um, build fixed. Okay, ignore that. I don't know what it means. Um, okay, not that one. My quick and dirty uh, import, my root fixed, what I want to override. Oh, I already have it. Okay, anyway, I will override. So I will import it onto the third person mannequin. Okay, so in order to test this, let's, let's um, go into the, um, the the blend space for the running idle running walking animation and then replace the idle state so just notice that i only fixed one of them so as you will see now now we have a dip going on uh, here that's because we didn't fix the two others so you need to do that afterwards as mentioned but if we uh, now click and uh, then make the arm oops okay i need to increase the uh, blend time again where is it? Okay. Zero point two. Back to the oops, default. And this one back to default. Let's, let's say we want that little blend to happen. So now if we blend, well, you can see there's a little uh, translation still, but you can easily go fix this. Uh, actually, I missed something uh, on the X axis now. So anyway, he's not making the the, uh, the blend uh, or the um, the dip down anymore. So uh, I screwed up the, the position, but I hope this illustrates uh, how you can fix this. Actually, let's go check out what we missed uh, before I end this video. Um, window animation draft editor, and we are on the pelvis. So we have. Um, no translation here, or very little. So, uh, not much here, not much here, and we should not have anything on the root. This is X. So, well, I am not actually sure what I missed. <laughs> But anyway, this is a this is a uh, way to get rid of that um, translation. As you can see, if I move through the animation um, here, you can see we don't have any um, any movement in the translate x, y, and c. So now we have a stationary uh, root. So that's good. Um, I am wondering what is wrong with that. Okay. Well, it, I, it seems to need a little bit of fixing more. Hmm. But anyway, you got rid of, of the of the, the dipping. So, and I hope you learned something because, uh, yeah, uh, to me this was for a long time um, a mystery. I was completely puzzled of uh, how to even begin to work with this. Uh, so I hope this gives a little bit of uh, uh, working ground to begin with uh, dealing with these kinds of problems. All right, so uh, thank you for this time and see you in the next video. Bye bye.